Lewis. A very strange game. The thing is, you know what? I've never witnessed such bad football and come out of a game so happy, thinking, yeah, we were amazing. But that's what Frank's done, really. And, and I think that the win at the end and, and to get a, a result out of this, when it was a really hard game for us and we didn't particularly play well, it made it feel like it was a good game overall. And I've, I've got happy memories today. You've got your arsehole back. You've got your arsehole back. You've got your arsehole back. I told you, I told you we were going to repaint North London and we've done it again today. Same thing as we did against Tottenham. Granted, it was a little bit of a shit house, but you know what? Wait, what's this? LA Rams. LA Rams that. Yeah, you know what? Safe for that. The Stan Kroenke. We shit house that one. We really shit house that one. And the last 10 minutes were fucking wild. But it wild? Was, it was... I got bundled. My, my clips, see my clips, they were not in the same place. Oh, check out my vlog. I don't even know how I kept my phone in my hand. No, no, no. But that was crazy. I mean, these guys all saying Arteta after one game was going to have some sort of impact. And to be honest, they played a little bit better than they did under Emery. Yeah, they but did. Emery's like here and Arteta's like here, so there's not really much of a difference. We, ma we managed to take it towards us in the end. It was a really shit first half from us, I can't even lie. But credit to Frank Lampard because he saw from the start that we were missing someone who could spring a decent long ball. We All we really had was Rudiger just spraying it into different throw-ins for Arsenal players. We brought on Jorginho after the 30th minute and we were a little bit better off in the attack. The second half was a completely different Chelsea side. It was just until the final 10 minutes it looked like nothing was working for us. You know the issues that we've had with finishing and in the final third our decision making has let us down on countless times but we, kept, we made experimental change as well and it really helped us. Lamptey today was brilliant. Yeah. I saw him come on I thought Really? In this sort of game? But Frank's really keen to play the youth, isn't he? And they, and they show, it shows the risk that they take in games like this. These players come in with no experience and they just want to do exactly what they know how to do. They play the basics. This guy was beating players, this guy was laying off passes. He wasn't taking too long to make the pass as well. Because that was a big problem for us in the first half. We were always just sl too slow to make the cross. Or too slow to take the shot on. Or too slow to beat a player. It was like we were thinking like five seconds before the opposition. But we continued to grow into the game. We continued to grow into the game. And then in the last 10 minutes, you guys bottled it. Jorginho, great equaliser. And Tammy Abraham still hasn't scored against the top six side yet, but you know what? It's coming. The thing with today is it's a statement, and we really struggled for consistency over the last couple of games because we started winning a game. And then but we... years ago, we, we wouldn't win this game. And, and that's the difference with, with Frank, I think. That's the thing, though. You, it's hard to figure this team out because just a couple of days ago, we were getting walked across the field by fucking Southampton. Now we come here and we shit out the 2-1 win. It's hard to predict with this Chelsea side, but you know what? I'm really just loving the journey. The last week has been mad. We've beaten Tottenham away. We've beaten these dickheads away. It's been a great week and it's been a great way to end the decade as well. Chelsea on top like they were from the start to now. Bunda history. Look at the present. Chelsea run London. Don't forget that. Oh, I love it, Lewis.